hey best friend welcome welcome back to my channel it's your girl and i'm back with another video the girl is married you guys so i'm finally making this video you guys have been requesting a wedding update i wanted to make this video with jonathan but if i waited on him to make this video this video will never come out y'all it'll be well i ain't gonna say it'll never come out but it'll be a while before it comes out and i wanted to come out today a little backstory if you are new on um, me and my now husband um we met back in 2022 we didn't start dating the first time until 2007 and we broke up in 2008 we started dating again in 2018 so from 2008 until 20. 18 which was a 10 years we end up getting you know starting our own family with other people we got back together in 2018 he had three kids from a previous marriage i had a kid from a previous marriage we got divorced from those people ended up getting together had our own kids so now we have five kids together and things like that this year in 2022 we ended up getting engaged in february and we was planning to get married in august of next year but we ended up getting married in june of this year so like i said a lot of y'all probably wonder like what happened i had put out that wedding vlog letting you guys know our plans with our wedding and then like not long after that i ended up throwing in our courthouse wedding video and they like shot a lot of my subscribers because they wasn't expecting us to get married already y'all bear with me i'm gonna have to start from the beginning so y'all can fully understand what happened okay like i said i really wish jonathan was here to have his input into it once you guys watch this video if y'all have any questions you want to ask him ask me Please put them in the comments below because we will be making another video answering questions like that. So, yeah. So, I grew up being in church. Jonathan grew up being in church. We've been in search of a church for like the longest and we've been attending his mom's church which she doesn't have a lot of people there but that's not the issue. The issue was we was, they don't have a Sunday school and with us having five kids we really want them to be in Sunday school so there was this church in the neighborhood that me and Jonathan met that we grew up in they have a lot they do a lot of stuff in the community and nor me or Jonathan have actually been to their service before their Sunday service we've always went to like we always knew that church to be the church in our town our small town to have like the best events fun events for the youth and stuff like that for family and i was like well let me go let me go check out this church so i'm pretty sure they got a sunday school and i really you know like that church and everything so we went to that church one sunday and um i enjoyed the service and at the end they called people to the altar to get saved so i ended up walking down there and getting saved that was in may of this year so once i did that my next step was i really wanted to get baptized so i happened to see on their facebook because they had a facebook page they had openings up for people to get baptized so i ended up inboxing the pastor about it and he was asking me about uh having a home visit and i really at the time i didn't know what this visit was for like i'm like why why do you need to go to our house for so i didn't know what it you know why he needed to come to our house but i you know let him come he wanted to talk to me and jonathan so the reason why he came was because oh let me let me back up okay so at that church if you get baptized you officially are a member of that church he didn't want to baptize me because i was living with someone i'm not married to pretty much he was saying like since we're already engaged you should go ahead and get married especially now that i'm saved i should be you know living not living in sin and me living in sin is me living with my fiance this is just a learning process for me being saved and we just had a long talk me him and jonathan about being saved pretty much and jonathan was letting them know 
which I already knew from the beginning. The day he proposed to me, he was completely fine with us going to the courthouse the next day and get married. And I didn't want that. I never wanted that. Um, at the same time, he did want the whole ceremony, but so he was completely fine with having a courthouse wedding and having a ceremony later, which is what the pastor suggested us to do. After he left, that was on a Monday, I just needed to think, of, me and Jonathan talked, like I was really emotional because I, it was. it's always been my dream to get married to Jonathan. And like I said, we've been married before. I had an actual ceremony when I got married the first time. Jonathan, he didn't get married to the courthouse or have a ceremony, he just, him and his ex-wife just got married like at i don't even know y'all they just got married at home or something but he just didn't have a ceremony the first time and i really wanted that for him for us if we went to the courthouse like that whole dream would be gone like why bother having a ceremony we're already married you know all that kind of stuff was going through my head and it was like after having a talk with the pastor and then with jonathan because he was all set for get married at the courthouse because it just gave me an impression like if we don't do this i'm saved and i'm living in sin you know living at home with a man that's not my husband i felt like if i die tomorrow i'm gonna go to hell like you know it just scared me and i, I almost felt pressured and forced to get married sooner than what i wanted to i just had to take a whole day to think about it because john like i said jonathan was really set to you know because he was say he got saved before i did and um you know he's trying to live right it's hard y'all it's hard being saved like living in the world of sin is hard because you definitely have to repent a lot and i just like i said this is a learning process and i'm really really wanting to do it right this time because i have been saved before in the past as a kid even as a teenager but i didn't fully understand what i was doing and stuff like that i just want to do it right this time and i took all day tuesday the next day um just thinking about it and i felt like i was being kind of selfish wanting the ceremony i was like we're not going to die before you know next year which you never know. Me thinking about it now, it's like I'm glad I did what I did because I had a aunt that was younger than me pass away like two months, two or three months ago. Tomorrow isn't promised. So anyway, I took all day Tuesday convincing myself and getting myself together and opinions from other people that was like, you need to go to another church and get married or telling me how the pastor shouldn't be like that or you know think just tell me all kind of stuff that i can still wait until august 2023 which is the original date but i was like this is what my husband really wants and i really want to marry him like i like i said i'd rather us have had the ceremony first to make it official but it was at the time it was real exciting to know that I can marry my I can marry Jonathan this week like so anyway I spent all day Tuesday convincing myself and I decided to do it so we took the next day on Wednesday to get ourselves together to trying to find something to wear which is what I got on now this is the exact outfit I had on that I got married in this is my first time actually wearing it since we got married but I found this dress at Burke's I think yeah, I found this dress at Burst and I had already, um, these are paparazzi earrings. I used to sell paparazzi jewelry. So, I mean, it looks really good together. But we spent all day Wednesday getting, um, really finding me a dress. I didn't think I could find a white dress that actually, um, I actually liked in this little town. I thought I had to go somewhere else, like another city or something. But I actually did find this pretty quickly, but... Jonathan got him an outfit, you know, our shoes and things like that, and make sure we had all our documents and our papers and our money to get married at the courthouse and get it all set up and stuff. And we got married that Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. So that is the reason why we went on and got married, you guys. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below. But either way it go, I was married now. <laughs> now, our plan at the time after we had got married was to do you know actually have our ceremony later so what we was going to do is a year at on our one year anniversary we was going to have our um ceremony so june 2nd 2023 was going to be the date of our ceremony but i had two deaths in my family within the last two years and both of them like really hit me really hard and hit our family really hard where i don't think we're going to have our ceremony next year because i don't think anybody's going to show like i don't know y'all i just at this point i don't know if we're going to do it next year i don't know when we're going to have our ceremony if we don't do it next year which i'm thinking more like we're probably not going to We'll just do it in five years. On a five-year anniversary, we'll have it on our um, 
on the day we got actually got married because i don't want our ceremony to be on like a whole nother day than our um wedding day the things i said in my last video of me explaining to you guys all the details of our wedding that we was going to have with our ceremony and our reception and stuff it'll be a little bit of changes here and there like my wedding my wedding party for example, on my part, my bridesmaids might change and things like that. So, I don't know y'all. I will keep y'all updated on that much on another video. But I did want to let you guys know why we went on and got married. If y'all have not seen that video of us, you know, going around town trying to find something to wear and getting all our things together. And, you know, the clip of us getting married and all that good stuff. Make sure y'all check that out. That was a super cool video. Um, I'm happy, you know. It's been... A little rocky with us being married which it was a little bit before we got married but i am truly truly happy to be married to this man he is a great wonderful man gosh i wish he was here so you guys can see him but like i said if y'all have any questions for him how does he feel about things like whatever y'all have to ask me him both of us together we will definitely have a video out for you guys i promise you i got y'all that being said i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did Hit that thumbs up button for your girl being married. Yes. And I will talk to y'all for the next one. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye.